There is a, a quote, and I don't know who uh, first said it. I wish I did. Uh, but it says, The greatest achievement of science this century, the acknowledgement of our ignorance. And I feel that very deeply. I come before you, and I want to, to be very clear, I know almost nothing about mushrooms. The more I study them, the more I realize the depth of knowledge that is soon or yet to be discovered. And this is also true. It takes many minds and many people's experiences to bring knowledge together. And I think we've tapped into a body of knowledge, heretofore unexplored, even to a minutest level. And I think we're entering into a new age of awareness that is a whole new frontier with fantastic possibilities. And this is the site of where it all begins. This is, this is where ger uh, spore germination starts. Um, and then coincident with the germination of spores is the uh, competition with bacteria. And it's from that dualistic uh, situation between bacteria and fungi that we've gained most of our notable antibiotics. And so I, I want to try to impress upon you that psilocybin mushrooms are not just magic in the sense that they can have these effects, uh, but I think they are instrumental in, um, in, in creating an ecology of consciousness. So spores germinate, and here we have one spore of psilocybe uh, polliculosa that is germinating. And um, then very quickly, as one spore germinates, uh, adjacent spores are stimulated into germination. So there is a kind of a domino effect where there is an increasing number of spores that are germinating as time goes on. Now very quickly, this mycelial network extends and it's exquisitely well designed. It's a mosaic of cells and I believe it is, it is Earth's natural internet. It is, it is, it, they, there are mosaics of interfacing mycelial networks uh, uh, upon one another uh, over every landmass on this planet. If you were to take a cubic inch of uh, soil or sawdust that is well permeated with mushroom mycelium and you were to stretch the cells end on end, there can be more than a mile or, uh, or two-thirds of a kilometer of hyphal cells stretched end upon end. So in this much soil, there can be almost, uh, almost a kilometer of mushroom mycelium stretched end on end. There is no site-specific orifice for the digestion of nutrients. The entire surface area is a membrane for the, rele for the release of, uh, of enzymes and acids which break down plant material. It is the entire foundation of our ecosystem. Without fungi, the, all the plants w would quickly die because there would, there would be a lack of nutrients. It's the recycling of dead plant material and other, or and other organic complexes back into the ecosystem that is made possible by the mushroom mycelium. I believe this mycelial network is a neural ne network for the Gaian consciousness. I believe we all are partaking and taking steps through different doors coming to the same, re same realization that we aren't separate from this planet, we are, we are of this planet. We are a community. You know, our minds may think that we are humans and those are animals and those are plants, but I think many of us have come to realize that we're all part of a one. And the mushroom mycelium is the natural neural net that is sentient. And I, I do not exaggerate. I believe that mushroom mycelium has a consciousness. It is sentient. When something happens in the ecosystem, especially a, a catastrophe, it is the mycelial networks that sense this and then design responses for quickly capturing nutrients that are locked up in dead organic plant material, wood, etc., and then colonize it and then recycle it back into the ecosphere. And I think that all of us you know, whether we are willing uh, or knowing or unknowing participants in this process, I think as time goes on, the importance of our being aware of these processes becomes paramount. Mushroom mycelium represents rebirth, rejuvenation, regeneration. Fungi 
generate soil that gives life. The task that we face today is to understand the language of nature. My mission is to discover the language of nature of the fungal networks that communicate with the ecosystem. And I, in particular, believe nature is intelligent. The fact that we lack the language skills to communicate with nature does not impugn the concept that nature is intelligent. It speaks to our inadequacy of our skill set for communication. We have now learned that there are these languages that are occurring and communication between each organism. If we don't get our act together and come in commonality and understanding with the organisms that sustain us today, not only will we destroy those organisms, but we will destroy ourselves. We need to have a paradigm shift in our consciousness. What will it take to achieve that? If I die trying, and but I'm inadequate to the task to make a course change in the evolution of life on this planet, okay, I tried. The fact is, I tried. How many people are not trying? If you knew that every breath you took could save hundreds of lives into the future, had you walked down this path of knowledge, wouldn't you run down that path of knowledge as fast as you could? I believe nature is a force of good. Good is not only a concept, it is a spirit. And so hopefully the spirit of goodness will survive.